We must be kind and compassionate in order to create a kinder and more compassionate world. What inspired you to be a vegan? Yeah, so what inspired me to become a vegan is uh, learning how animals are being treated. So I've always loved animals, uh, but I think most people love animals, right? If you take a poll of 100 people, you know, asking, do animals deserve compassion? 100 people are going to say yes. Unfortunately, most people are also eating animals, which kind of goes contrary to this, uh, this belief. And so I was presented with a the idea that if I loved animals, I should probably stop eating animals. And I had never thought about that before, but it ma it, it really made so much sense. Uh, why would I be eating animals if I loved them? And so I went vegetarian on principle. Okay. I didn't know anything about factory farming, didn't know the true reality of what farm animals faced. I just thought it makes sense to be, um, to be kind of uh, consistent with my compassion for animals, I should apply this to the animals I'm eating as well. And then uh, almost a year later, I watched a documentary called Earthlings. And uh, if any of the uh, anybody here has watched Earthlings, uh, they will know uh, how powerful it is. If you haven't watched it yet and you're not yet vegan, I would highly recommend watching it. Um, it's a documentary from I think 2005, narrated by Joaquin Phoenix. The, the very popular actor who's a lifelong vegan. Prior to this film, watching this, I thought that farm animals lived decent lives and especially animals uh, that were like, you know, raised for milk or eggs, the ones who weren't necessarily slaughtered right away. So they lived pretty good lives. Well, that movie, or that documentary made me realize that farm animals live uh, really awful lives, essentially from birth to death like 24 seven awful. Um, and then on top of this, uh, it wasn't just the animals raised for meat, like, you know, chickens raised for their, for chicken breasts or cows raised for beef and so on. It was also egg laying hens uh, who were being raised for their eggs. It was dairy cows. Um, so many animals are exploited in so many different ways. And so this was really the, the, the nail in the coffin. This was the thing that made me realize wow like being vegetarian is great and all but like actually if i were to go vegan it would be more consistent with my beliefs of compassion for animals and also um do a lot for um for all animals but also this is something i should try and get other people to do because right off the bat and this is almost 12 years ago now i realized being vegan myself is is will, will be a great decision and but but the thing is like from now let's say i live 50 more years, then that's 50 years of me not contributing, but that isn't necessarily making a dent, really. I need to encourage other people to do it um, rather than just simply being vegan myself. Vegan advocacy is the key. And that is when I started um, getting involved with different kinds of advocacy, like I talked about earlier, eventually settling on social media animal advocacy.